It's your man Chase Allen, and you rocking out with Queen Bobby TV. Be sure to check out Tunnel Vision on datpiff.com. Texas for the South by Southwest Music Festival and I'm joined by the very handsome Chase Allen. Where are you from? From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay, Chase, what brings you all the way from Philadelphia to Austin, Texas? I'm out here promoting my mixtape Tunnel Vision and uh, I had a few shows out here so I'm out here just, you know, promoting and handing out as much CDs as I possibly can. Is this your first South by Southwest experience? Yes, it is. It is and it's a, a very great first experience. Um, it's been so much love. The people are so receptive to you know us handing out mixtapes and stuff. So it's been really fun. Tell us, what is the craziest thing you've experienced or witnessed since you've been here at South by Southwest? Um, not really too much lately. Not yet, because I just got here yesterday. So um, hopefully I experienced something crazy. But um, I'm sure you're gonna run into a few naked people walking up Sixth Street. <laughs> right. I mean, uh, the most interesting thing I did was uh, I seen uh, Master P perform yesterday. So that was like. It blew my mind, you know what I mean? Are you crunk? Make them say, uh. Yeah, I definitely was crunk. <laughs> it was a good a good show and everything. It was different. i never seen nothing like that before, so it was life-changing. So your new mixtape is called Follow the Leader Tunnel Vision? Yep, it's called Follow the Leader Tunnel Vision. I put it out last, uh, last year. So I'm not that familiar with Philly and the music scene, so talk a little bit about the music scene and what are some of the differences you notice being here in Austin? Um, the difference is people, people are more... Uh, music friendly here and you know it's a culture now here um, Philadelphia is a culture too but I don't know too many people that's going to pay $900 for a four or five day pass you know to visit a music festival and people are doing that down here so that's the difference and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of uh, support as far as Philly with the underground scene and you know each artist underground artist is supporting each other so okay, are you currently working on any new projects anything lined up for the future future yeah I'm uh, I'm always working on new music I have a EP I'm gonna put out I don't have a, a direct date on it yet but I'm always working on new music I record like every other day you know what I'm saying I got hundreds of songs so I'm always staying creative and you know staying in the mix of creating music so I should have something coming out uh, my who, who project it's a who EP probably hopefully by the end in the April so describe your sound for us if I pop in your CD right now what will I hear what kind of vibe will I get um it's really like conscious hip-hop mixed with uh, you could say like that classic 90s feeling hip-hop I rap over a lot of samples and um, my music is inspired by like Nas and you know Kanye West you know the greats the great lyrical artists that came before me so that's pretty much it Okay, Nas and Kanye West, you know, they kind of have different flavors. If you were channeling Nas and you were trying to give that feeling, what song on your mixtape would you say would be it? Um, I have a song, I have many songs. I have a song about retro, called Retrospect. I have a song called Houses in Virginia. It's about HIV, okay. you know what I mean? And I have, it's, it's, it's a variety of different types of music you can listen to from me. I'm always uh, looking forward to having a message behind my music so people could, you know, uh, understand where I'm coming from in my story so it's I like ratchet shit ratchet. so can I hear some ratchet music if I put in your mix no can I twerk a little something um no nah, not really I mean you could you could if that's what you into I mean most of the beats are samples and stuff so you can but I, I, I can't get into ratchetness you know what twerking I mean? is not recommended you could probably play it at a family reunion or something you know what I mean and get your groove on with your E and J in your cup step in the name of love right right but as far as getting crunked and dread shaking and booty clapping nah <laughs> nah nah so any final thoughts you have any social networks website yeah my website IamChaseIsland.com. you can follow me on Twitter at I am Chase Island and you can find out everything about me look forward to seeing me a whole lot because we grind it Bam. I don't think you feel me. Worth a couple bucks, you could probably steal me. It's like military camp, girls are sergeants. Cause for some reason, they always wanna drill me. I be on money like bees on honey, like, like grandma's cooking on Sunday night. The way the economy is.